many of you probably practice yoga on a regular basis. I know I do. And it's super powerful in everything well-being related. Did you know that you can do specific yoga for your face to reverse aging and improve radiance? Well, if you haven't seen it, it is one of the hottest topics in cosmetics, in aesthetics, and that is face yoga. And so I am so excited and so thrilled to have Dr. Eva Liu share with you about face yoga. She teaches it, she has programs on it, and she is gonna share with you in this one hour presentation on the powers and benefits of face yoga and how you can use it for yourself and with your patients and so much more. So without further ado, Dr. Eva Hello, everyone. Thank you for the intro. So, yes, I've been doing face yoga since 2017. And what I really loved about uh, the end of your presentation, East, was that, you know, you got to do these things for yourself so you can vibrate at a higher frequency for your patients and clients. And face yoga was one of those things that I ran into because I was working on clients who wanted cosmetic acupuncture. And uh, one of my colleagues in San Diego just told me, hey, there's face yoga. Why don't you check it out? And I did. And I started using it on myself. And um, it's done so many different things for me, just like relaxation, change my face, toning my face um, before and after baby. And I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to talk about cultivating facial posture with face yoga today. And I'm sure some of you are practitioners, some of you guys are looking for face yoga to help yourselves in your own uh, being. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to cultivate that facial posture. So what is it? Facial posture is basically how you hold your face while you're relaxed. And this is the fundamental of face yoga. Just going down the street, how do you hold your face while you're relaxed? And a lot of it is just observation, like bringing awareness to yourself. And the three E's, emotions, expressions, and everyday habits, are what affect facial posture. So if you see a client walking through your doors and you see them, okay, eyes down, back is hunched over, shoulders forward, and they come in saying that they have jaw pain or neck pain, maybe shoulder pain, this all comes from the three E's. So we cultivate facial posture with observation, acknowledgement, and practice. And with observation, we can start this by just looking at ourselves. If you have a patient coming in uh, through your doors, just ask them if you can take a photo of them before you start their treatment, or even with face yoga. And this is where we begin, is by taking that first photo and then you can compare it, track their progress as we keep on going through the face yoga sessions. And it's nice to have a mirror beside you as well as you're doing these face yoga practices. And that's going to help you see yourself as well as see how you're moving your face. Maybe you have a little bit of asymmetry on one side of the face um, you know, one side's higher than the other, and you want to lift or relax 
one of those sides. So you have more symmetry in the face. And also with observation, you can feel your movement as you're doing face yoga. So during my face yoga classes, I always ask my patients and students to just check in. How are you feeling? How does your face feel? So during a face yoga class, we check in by asking ourselves also, like, how are we feeling emotionally? How are we showing up? Because emotions are often subconsciously expressed on the face. These are our expressions. And the more that we feel an emotion, it shows up on our face. And over time, these emotions get imprinted on our face, you know, with the lines. And I'm sure um, in face reading, she'll talk about it as well you can find out the story about somebody just because their, emotion, their emotions are showing up on their face. And because the muscles are doing the same thing over and over again. So going back to that patient that's walking through your door, their jaws tight, their shoulders are forward. What's happening here? This is an imbalance in the body and the muscles in the front are shortening. The muscles in the back are, tight, are lengthening. And so with face yoga, it's not just about exercises on the face. It's about exercising the body from the bottom up. And I'm going to present a little face yoga session with you at the end of this presentation. And just to give you an example of what we can do with face yoga. So if you have your phone on you right now, you can take a photo of yourself if that's available to you. And with acknowledgement, we're also considering what are we doing in our daily life? How do we talk? How do we eat? Even how do we speak? So even the language that we speak can affect what happens on the face, what things look like. So. Uh, there's a large Russian population where I live right now, and they certainly do not look anything like Americans because of the way that they speak. So consider that like when people are coming in through your door and they're asking for this or that, um, they want to look like certain people. And, you know, sometimes that can't happen because of the language that they speak and even their genetics. So face yoga can help all different types of people from people who have just suffered a stroke, Bell's palsy. Maybe their facial muscles aren't working like they used to from some type of trauma. And for women who are trying to get pregnant and maybe in the past they've used Botox or fillers and now they can't do that anymore, so they just have to take a break. Face yoga is great for them. Face yoga is also really great for postpartum while you're breastfeeding and is also needle free. So it's great for patients or clients who want to maintain their look if they've had a tweakment because it works on relaxing and strengthening the muscles. And here are some of the benefits of face yoga. It can help increase circulation through the face and the muscles to nourish the skin as well, improving elasticity, helps to open the torso, increasing the energy between the torso and the head, moving the body, and it can reduce lines, wrinkles, it can improve posture. And I wanna share with you photos of one of my current students. 
She's 41. She's a psych student. She has a two-year-old boy, doesn't get very many um, full nights of sleep. So she came to me when I did a seven-day face yoga challenge. And this is her day one on the left. And we did face yoga every single day online or in the studio whenever she had time to come in. And you can see the results after seven days. So this is her again, 11 weeks later, so about three months of doing face yoga. And we dropped the classes down to two days per week. She took these photos after writing one of her thesis um, for her doctorate program. So I'm sure she didn't get very much sleep this night but she feels a lot better. And also feels more confident. So we're gonna start with a little face yoga. I'm going to stop sharing here so you can see me. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna do a little face yoga session. And for those of you who would like to participate, if you have any neck injury, shoulder injuries, or anything um, painful, just keep those in mind as we do this. And just going, just only go to where you can go We're going to start with the warm up, starting with the torso rotation. So, placing your hands on your knees, we're going to do little circles going right to left, breathing in and out, keeping your abs up and in. Keep breathing. We'll do about 10 of these to one side. Keep breathing. And once you've reached 10, we're going to go from the other side, right to left. Keep breathing in and out. So with face yoga, we begin with the warm up to open up the base of the body of the torso, abdomen included. Now we're going to open up the shoulders to so placing your hands on your chest bringing your elbows together. If you can't touch your elbows together, that's okay. We're going to do some chest openers with this sh shoulder circle, elbows together. And as you bring your elbows behind you, try to pinch the shoulder blades together. Pretend that there's a pen in between your shoulder blades. and opening up your chest. So just go to where you can go. If your elbows can't touch, that's okay. Breathing in and out, in and out for 10. And once you've reached 10, you're just gonna shake it out. So the beauty of face yoga is that you can do this pretty much anywhere. 
and we're going to move into the platysma stretch by dropping your jaw down to your chest. You're going to anchor your chest with your hands on your breastbone, dropping your chin down and gently gliding your chin up to the ceiling. Only go to where you can. Do not overextend your neck. Keeping your eyes closed. Feel that stretch in your neck. This is your platysma. This is really, really good for double chin jowls. And keep breathing. And coming back down, gliding your chin down to your chest. And we'll do this two more times, gliding the chin up to the sky, going only to where you can go, breathing in and out, in and out, in and out. and gliding your chin back down to your chest one last time gonna glide your chin back up to the chest sky excuse me and this time try to roll and slide your tongue the surface of your tongue up to the roof of your mouth Notice how that feels on the front of your neck. Breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. And coming back down. If you feel some tension or tightness in front of your neck, go ahead and tap it out. Tap lightly with your fingers or with piano fingers across the chest and shoulders. You can tap your face as well. So tapping is a really great way to bring blood and circulation to the face. And it's really good also for whenever you feel any tension from doing any of these face yoga moves. So if it's available, your index fingers are gonna go right in front of your ears. And you're going to rub your ears in the direction upwards towards the sky. So this helps to wake you up it also helps to lift the face up. So we'll do about 10 of these. So if it's helpful, just let go. Of your face as you're gliding your fingers upward. Breathing in and out. In and out. How do you feel? Do you feel a little bit more energized? Do you feel a little bit more open? So that's just the beginning. That's just the warm up. And we're gonna move into the wow. So this is a good time to Grab your phone or a mirror if you have one on hand and just look at yourself as you're saying, wow. So we're gonna say, wow, five times. And I want you to exaggerate where your lips are, how your mouth is moving. Notice if one side drops as you're saying the word, wow. A lot of times when we're talking, even myself included, 
one side drops more as we're pronouncing our words because this is how we've been doing it for so long. And when you're using the mirror, you can see yourself, you can observe, and you can correct the motion. So go ahead, opening up your mouth as wide as possible, saying, wow, wow, and closing it all the way. Wow. Wow. Notice how that feels. Two more times. Wow. Wow. If you had a mirror with you, what did you notice about yourself? Did your lip quiver? Did your lip fall to one side? Is one side more active than the other? These are the things that we need to observe. So given treatments like cosmetic acupuncture, that can be really helpful. Uh, can you see me now? Okay, great. All right. So if you had a mirror or if you're just looking in the screen while we're on the Zoom call, um, maybe you noticed that as you were doing the wow, I'll do, let's do that two more times. Um, so we're going to exaggerate the movement of the mouth as we say, wow, wow, wow. So if you're watching yourself, what did you notice? Just ask yourself. What do you notice about how your mouth moves? So these are the little things that we can observe within ourselves and also acknowledge as we're practicing. Okay, so the wow is really good for bringing circulation to the face. It's a really great way to just move the muscles in the face and for that patient who is coming in with the jaw pain, it's a really great way to relax the jaws as well. So we're gonna move into the scalp massager. So we're gonna interlace the fingers and placing your hands in on your hairline. So covering your hairline. This is really good for hair growth as well. You're going to press your hands into your scalp and pressing and anchoring your hands in, you're going to move your hands backward, lifting your forehead up and bringing them back forward. And we're gonna do this 10 times. So breathing in and out. If you feel like your shoulders are starting to creep up, just bring your shoulders up to your ears and roll them down your back. If there's any pain or tension coming on, just shake it out and set it back up again. Or just skip this completely if you're unable to do it. So we're just going to massage the scalp. So once you're done with 10, you can shake it out and then reposition your hair, um, reposition your hands in your hairline again. And we're going to move the hands side to side. So notice how your scalp feels. Most of us don't massage our heads on a regular basis. And for those of you who practice TCM, a lot of the meridians pass through here. So it's good to massage this to bring more blood flow to this region and to also 
relax the scalp, which can relax the forehead and also the eyes. So once you're done with 10, shake it out. And we're going to interlace our fingers again, placing your hands right at the back of your head, right above the nape where the hairline is, keeping your shoulders and chest open. If you need to roll your shoulders down and back, go ahead. And you're going to lift upwards. So lifting, pressing in and lifting upwards for 10, keeping your abs up and in, so no pressure on the back. You can close your eyes if you'd like, breathing in and out, in and out for 10. Go ahead and shake it out. And we're going to massage the base of the scalp again, left to right. left to right, keeping your eyes closed. Massage for 10. Once you're done, shake it out. We're going to tap it out. You can close your eyes as you tap it out. Notice how you feel Notice how your scalp feels. Does it feel more energized? Do your eyes feel a little bit more relaxed? Yeah, we're going to move into the temporalis massage. So this is around GB8, gallbladder 8. And this is also really helpful at releasing the jaw if you have any jaw clenchers out there. So if you can't find the muscle, it's about a thumb's width above the top of the ear, and you're going to clench the jaw and the muscle should pop up underneath your fingers, placing your fingers gently on that muscle. You're going to make baby circles or you can slide, slide side to side like this. Breathing in and out, in and out. You can close your eyes dropping your jaw down. Notice how that feels. Maybe it releases the jaw. So about 10 of these. And you can tap it out on the jaw. You can drop your jaw down into the big O, just lengthen your mouth into an O. And tap that out. Notice how you feel. All right, we're going to work a little bit on the eyes. So maybe some of you guys are students. Maybe you're watching a lot of things on the television right now. And what you can do is work out the muscles around the eyes. So we're going to place our hands just outside of the corners of our eyes, pressing down and lifting up at a 45 degree angle. So your eyes kind of become cat eyes. You're going to open up your eyes as wide as possible and you're going to squint, like you're looking really, really far away. 
what's that thing out in the distance? Breathing in and out, keep breathing. Opening up your eyes as wide as possible. If you need to come out of this pose, go ahead and come out of it, shake it out. And set it up again, placing your hands here, lifting your eyes up at a 45 degree angle, opening up your eyes as wide as possible, and squint. Look out into the distance. Breathing in and out, in and out. And closing your eyes, relaxing your hands, your shoulders. You can tap it out, keeping your eyes closed, noticing how your eyes feel right now. Maybe they feel more relaxed. Maybe they feel more activated. Notice that sensation for yourself. And to add on to the eyes, for anyone who has these lovely 11 lines, we're going to release these 11 lines with the 11 line relaxer. There we go. So placing them at the beginning of your eyebrows, you're going to knit your eyebrows together. What is this? Knit your eyebrows together and you're going to use your index fingers to push those eyebrows apart. So knit those eyebrows together. Breathing in and out, in and out, in and out, and relax, massaging your eyebrows out and upward. Shake it out, maybe tap it out. We'll do that again, placing your fingers at the beginnings of your eyebrows, knitting your eyebrows together, breathing in and out, pushing on those muscles, knit them together, breathing in and out, and relax, massaging those eyebrows outward. And we'll do that one more time. Placing your fingers here. Knitting your eyebrows together. Notice how your forehead feels as you're knitting your eyebrows together, as you're pushing on these muscles here. Keep on breathing and relax. Massage the eyebrows outward. Go ahead and tap it out. Shake it out. And we're going to do the bumblebee. So the bumblebee, this can be fun for you. Um, I like to teach this because it helps to relax the jaw and you can do it anywhere as well. So the bumblebee is basically just fluttering your lips like a raspberry and you're going to inhale and fluttering your lips. So as you flutter your lips, you're going to exhale all of the air out when I'm relaxed, I can do this better, but just take your time to do this at least three times, exactly like a horse. So just let your lips flutter 
however you get there. Let your lips flutter, breathing in and out. And we'll do that one more time. Breathing in and out. And however you did that, that's great. You just let everything relax. And we're just gonna tap it out, tap, tap, tap. And I'm gonna show you some things that you can do with your tongue. So tongue posture is really important as well with face yoga. It helps to strengthen the tongue muscle and it can help reduce that double chin and also reduces the look of a jowl. So we're going to start by sticking the tongue out straight like you're trying to touch the screen put all that energy into the tongue keeping it straight stick it out keep on breathing three rounds of breath keep breathing and once you're done with three rounds of breath, bring the tongue back. Maybe you feel it in the neck here. So go ahead and tap it out. Tap, tap, tap. Tap it out again if you need to. So the exercises that I'm presenting today are part of the basic face yoga program that I have online. So that's something that you can check out um, on your own and I guide you through these exercises. So there are about 20 exercises that I present in that program. And as you're tapping, as you're relaxing, maybe you notice your jaws being activated again. So tap that out, drop your jaw down into big O. And I'm going to show you the yummy face. So this uses the tongue to create a little smile. You're going to go left and right with your tongue. So sticking your tongue out. You're going to go left and right, right and left. Focusing that energy in your tongue, going left and right, right and left. Last round, bring that tongue in, smile, and go ahead and tap it out again. Tap, tap, tap. Be gentle with your taps. And dropping your jaw down in a big O. We're going to cool down with the instant pick me up. So bringing your hands and fingers up to the forehead. Light touch on your forehead. You're going to glide your fingers up and over the forehead, over the top of the scalp, back of the scalp, back of the neck, in front of the neck, across the chest, out through your shoulders, and shake it out. So this is kind of like a little rinse. Shake, shake, shake. And we'll do this three more times. Bring your fingers up over your forehead, over the scalp back of the neck, in front of the neck, across the chest, and out. And on your own.
you can keep your eyes closed as you're doing this. Notice how you feel. Notice how your energy is. And once you're done with your last set, go ahead and place your hands on your knees or in your lap, keeping your eyes closed, noticing, asking yourself how you're feeling. Maybe something has shifted for you in your body, in your neck, in your shoulders, in your face. Thank, you, thank yourself for showing up. <laughs> And practicing with me. Breathing in and out. Blinking your eyes open. Take a second to wake up to your surroundings. And I'm going to share what I have to offer to you. I have the basic face yoga. <laughs> I love the feedback, great. I have the basic face yoga course um, online. Let me see if I can share this with you. There you go. And I'll type it in here, the code that you can use for 20% 20, 20 off. It's good until Sunday. So this is something that you can use for yourself or you can share with your clients if they're coming in for face, um, face treatments. Personally, like when I give sessions, um, sometimes I include acupressure in the classes. Uh, sometimes I hold workshops with face cupping, gua sha. So it can be paired really nicely with these modalities. And I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.